What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be answering some of y'all's questions about being gay because it's Pride Month. Yay! And we have my best friend Thomas Randall. Hello. I'm going to put his Instagram right here. And what what else we're going to do is also, um, I'm going to do his nails. It's going to be gel. Um, I really don't know what type of design I'm going to do, but we're just going to freestyle it. It's not going to be gay gay, but it's still going to be gay. Period. Thomas is giving me trade. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it's not going to be gay gay. It's just one gay, not two gay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get on with the video. So I'm going to insert the picture right here on what I'm going to try to do with his nails. And um, we're going to get started with the first question. Mm -hmm. The first question is, when did you first know? Ooh, I've been gay all my life. I, ooh, when I was a child, I used to walk around the hills. You know how everybody does it. Uh -huh. And um, I remember specifically, like, the deciding moment was in, like, fifth grade. There was this boy named Alex. And when I tell you, I, <laughs> my heart throbbed every Throb. time I saw him. I was like, ooh. Did your pussy throb too? Ooh. 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 <laughs> like, it's the moisture that I felt every time I saw him. Oh, <laughs> Which, oh, we. It gave waterfalls. <laughs> Waterfall. <laughs> oh my god. Thank god I don't have little kids watching this video. <laughs> the moisture. <laughs> it gave waterfall. Okay. For me, I first knew when I was in first grade. We had um a butler at our house and um I just thought he was really cute and I was just like really attracted to him and I was like, wow, like you're fine, fine. So then, I mean, ever since like I was starting to like discover myself, but that's when I first knew when I was like, ooh, this butler is fine as fuck. Period. And like, you know what he said about the waterfall? That part. <laughs> so, I mean like... My medicine. <laughs> <laughs> that How hard was it to accept yourself? I feel like it's an ongoing experience. I still have, I'm still starting to experience myself. I'm still starting to come out, really, in my opinion. I've never been this gay, and I'm getting gay every day. It's, it's a, it's a trek. So, like, did you ever, like, had a hard time, like, growing up? Because, like, I know, like, within, like, sometimes, like, the community can be so, like, conservative, and, like, you're hearing all these, like, different opinions, and, like, was it hard to like go against the social norm? I so I wasn't raised gay. I was raised to be straight, and I, I think I was too. Yeah. <laughs> and so I never had, I never had the personality to wear. Oh, like you're gay, gay, or uh -huh. you're flamboyant, or anything like that. And then even then, after I came out, um, or not really came out, I was outed uh, in like eighth grade. But how? Uh, oh, my ex. It was like my first time trying. Your first time? Uh, my first time. That was like my first time like trying gay things. I don't want to show a picture of him because he's really like... Is he, is he white? No. no. It, what's your type? My type is everything. Your type is everything? Uh-huh. Um, for me, it was low-key kind of hard to like accept myself because I grew up in like Pearland and that's very like conservative, like rednecks and stuff. And, um... So, going to school with those type of people, like, you're always, like, getting, like, shamed, and, like, you're always constantly getting bullied, and you're, that's when you start to, like, question yourself and be like, damn, like, am I doing the right thing? Like, is this really who I am? Like, I feel like I'm going against everybody. So, for me, I did have a hard time, like, accepting myself, middle school and junior high. Mm -hmm. What was some of the struggles that you've dealt with, and how did you overcome those obstacles? Um... Ooh, I have to think about it. I'd say that one of the main struggles that I've had is not ever feeling gay enough or not feeling like I'm enough. If like, that makes with, sense. No, so, you, so, when you say enough, like, what do you mean? Like, like uh, say for example, when we went out to a party yesterday, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the gayest thing I've ever been to. Uh -huh. I don't uh, have any uh, experience being this gay. Like, uh -huh. I need a resume for this. this <laughs> and literally, I told you, I was like, oh my gosh, this is assaulting to my senses. I just feel like, oh, uh, I'm starting to understand more that mm -hmm. it's not being gay, it's more so just being yourself. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's just 
my brain. It's just like, uh, that's just like a real struggle. Like, I don't even know why that's a struggle, but I always feel like I'm either not gay enough or not straight enough to come across to one community as one thing, you know? Do you think that's something you can work on? Um, it's not something I want to work on. I'm gonna, eventually, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm already myself. Mm -hmm. But once I go to, uh, once I get older, I'll be even more so comfortable with who I am and what I am. Like, you know, mm -hmm. like, I'll just be more. Some of the struggles I've dealt with is like, trying, when I was growing up, I was like constantly trying to blend in within the society so I won't get like called out or picked on. And then not until I went to high school, like the performing arts high school, mm -hmm. that's when I was able to um, really express myself because everyone there is so like artsy and like they have their own identity. So going transitioning to that school, I had like a harder time finding who I was because all along I was just trying to blend in with the social norm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, now, now I'm chilling. Like, mm -hmm. I know who I am. Like, I'm proud to be me, and I'm not afraid to, like, make a statement and say, this is who I am. You can accept me or not. That's up to you. But I'm going to live my truth and show you my real colors. That's on what? When did you come out, and how did you come out? Okay, so are we talking about coming out to friends or coming out to family? Uh, Family. Okay, so the first person I came out to was my mom. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just a random, like, uh, spur of the moment thing. I was sitting there talking to her, and I was like, hmm, I wonder what her reaction will be. And so I'm sitting there randomly talking about uh, what I did that day. We're sitting in the garage, uh, just listening to music, relaxing. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, hey, mom, I'm gay. And I got up and immediately left without getting a reaction. I didn't want to hear it. Like, I was like, oh, my gosh, I did it. Mm -hmm. And um, so she called me back out there and she was like, do you understand what you're saying? Do you know what you mean? Mm -hmm. And um, it was just a straight, straightforward conversation. But after, oh my gosh, I'm gonna say that whole year was hell. Really? Like, yeah. Um, she, so you know when parents go into denial, like, oh, my baby's not gay. Uh -huh. like, that was her. And um, I just remember one of the things being, oh, uh, you had to have been influenced by your friends or, um, oh, like, what well, something's going wrong. Mm -hmm. And so she tried so, the hardest uh -huh. to uh, keep me, like, to, I don't know, to make me straight or to uh, encourage straightness or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, I remember one time, me and her were uh, in an argument. I went to go with my boyfriend uh, of that time to a party. Mm -hmm. um, I got. I think I got in trouble or we argued or something like that beforehand and she was like look you can go for uh, XYZ amount of time and uh, you have to leave by XYZ amount of time and like she said she was coming to get me like there was no if ands or buts. Did you have a car back then? Mm -hmm. No I didn't have a car so she dropped me off. This one I was like 13 uh -huh. and um, or 14 maybe uh -huh. something like that and uh so the party started at like 10 i got this she dropped me off early because she was she did what she did on purpose uh -huh. so she dropped me off at 10 or 8 and uh i stayed there while they were getting the party ready and then once everything was like starting up she was like all right i'm coming to get you and like she would do like things Damn. like that and uh, i remember that can that turned into a whole argument we ended up yelling at each other like on the way home what? yeah it was a lot and then what else did she do it wasn't uh so Although she did do some things like that, she still uh, accepts you. Yeah, she still accepts me, and she's still like she's even now she's working on it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm now we're at the stage where oh mom, I'm thinking about going to Pride, but I like once I go for myself and experience it, I want you to go with me after that. And oh. she was like, "Is that what you want me to do? Like, is that like?" She was like, "Okay, is that something you want me to do? Is that something mm -hmm. you want me to go to?" She's always now she's a lot more supportive than me, being me mm -hmm. because she knows she can't. Change you. Yeah, she can't change me. Mm -hmm. Period. Okay. Um, I came out to my family at all um, of them. Yes. At one time. Yes, all of them mm -hmm. at a family gathering, and I was like drunk because it was huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, my hands are shaking because I had coffee, but I came out to all of them. Um, it was like a karaoke night. 
and I was drunk and I was like all right I'm sick and tired of like hiding who I am and I was like 16 back then so then I um, grabbed the mic and I was like, all right, everyone, I want I just want to say something. Oh my gosh. I'm gay. You see these hickeys on my neck? They're from a man. Oh, wow. Then, <laughs> oh. Yep. Yeah. And then like everyone just like dropped like their jaws. And that's when I just grabbed my keys and I left. Oh, wow. And then, yeah. And then afterwards, my mom called and was like, you, you have to be fucking kidding me. Like, you're drunk. Like, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, I can't accept you for this. Like, this is too much. Like, you're my only child. Like, wow. it took her, like, two weeks to, like, understand that I'm, like, gay. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, till this day, she's like, oh, so you're telling me I'm not going to have grandkids. I'm like, mom, you're going to have grandkids. But, like. It's just not the way you want me to have Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, like, also, she, like, growing up, she had a best friend that was gay, and, like, mm -hmm. his relationship with his bo boyfriend didn't go quite as well. Like, mm -hmm. you know how, like, the gays can be, like, they're like, oh, I can do better. Like, it's, it's hard It's hard for them to be staying loyal. Mm -hmm. So her biggest thing for me is finding someone that's going to love me for me and stay with me mm -hmm. till I take my last breath. Because she doesn't want me to go through heartbreaks and heartaches and waste my time. Yeah. Whose parent wants you to go through? Ooh. Right. Nice. So that's how I came out. I was 16. I had my own car. So I was just like, all right, I'm going to come out and I'm going to leave. Mm -hmm. Drop the ball on them. You did. You came off as a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, ooh, this is another question. Has there been any download guys in your DMs? Girl, not anymore. I don't do DL anymore. Mm -hmm. But, um, I'm gonna say in high school, there was this one dude I talked to, no name drops, no pictures, no nothing like that. Mm -hmm. And um, he just said, yeah, fuck. And the oh, girl was trash. Really? Yeah. Was he like an athlete? Like, what's T? What high school did you go to? Girl, we're not gonna be pulling up my information. <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna find no information about nobody. Nobody, uh huh. Um, Oh, um, he was in band with me, uh, mm -hmm. and got a girlfriend now. He has a girlfriend? Yeah. What's his name? Girl. There's a lot of names, so like you can just really say it. Eric Bobby Fannin. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, yes, there's been DL guys in my um, DMs. Give me the names, like the list. So, I'm not going to say <laughs> because I go to college with them. Oh. And they're on the football team. But I'm going to just leave it at that. Okay. And, um, yes, there's been TL guys. Huh? I feel like we talked about this point. We have. Okay. We have. So, if you're hearing all those bangings behind us, it's actually his roommate cooking food. He'd be shutting it up. Right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> This one is so much work. You're just sitting there. <laughs> um, do you believe in like the gender role within a gay relationship? Uh, what do you mean? Like how a bottom is like a girl, and, like the top should so, be the man, and like they should be paying for everything. Or... So first of all, I don't bottom, I don't top, I do both. Okay, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> so do you believe I, so in the I think one of the things, uh, a lot of people expect, uh, like, bottoms to be feminine, um, but I don't agree with it. Well, I'm just kidding. I'm, the raging. <laughs> <laughs> raging bag. <laughs> but no, I don't really agree with them. I think that uh, you are what you are. Like, I've seen really masculine dudes that are bottoms. Mm. Yes. Don't talk about my uncle. Scream. <laughs> and um, it's more so, uh, I feel like with gay people, they often have to act more feminine than they are just to be noticed by mm -hmm. other gay people. But um, no, general, gender norms, no. No. Yeah, I don't believe in that either. Like, I feel like we all have to carry our own weight within the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. we can't rely on anybody. But then again, I'm not attracted to feminine people. What are you trying to say? Like flamboyant people. Mm -hmm. That's not something that I like people that are a little more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I don't know. I agree.
You know, I'm not the person that's like, I'm about like. What is one piece of advice you would give to someone who's still struggling with their identity? Go be proud of yourself. That's really the important part. Mm -hmm. Because you, it's only going to get better. Once you accept yourself or once you start trying, it's only going to get better. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Period. What would you say? Hmm? Um, honestly, I feel like it takes time. Like, stop listening to everybody else. Like, listen to you. Yeah. What do you Preach. have to say to the world? Like, what do you need to tell yourself? Preach. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like nowadays, like, people are so, like, okay, like, they just go to people for advice and, like, they just really don't listen to, like, what their inner voice is saying or their heart is saying. Mm -hmm. They just go out and seek, like, attention to see what others are thinking instead of, like, them. And there's literally nothing wrong. So if you're uh, starting to experience yourself, you're starting to question, okay, no, I like dudes. There's nothing wrong with going out. Sliding in my DMs. TJR.ink. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. But if you're starting to figure yourself out now, there's nothing wrong with figuring yourself out. Life is all about new experiences. There's an opportunity for everything. And there's nothing wrong with uh, venturing in terms of your sexuality. There's nothing wrong with talking to a dude just like there's nothing wrong with talking to a woman. If you're curious and if you really, it's really dependent on who you like. And so you might not be attracted to men. You might be attracted to this one person. But why deny yourself that love that you're feeling or that uh, Ooh, contentment that you're feeling? Um, because of some heteronormative bullshit that we people, live in. Are, yeah, people are trying to teach. What was your first gay relationship? Like, you would take him home to, like, no, 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 no. no. But, like, you, you could, like, take him home and, like, Show your mom, like, mom, this is my boyfriend. I did bring him home. His, okay, so there's this boy named Malik. I, I, I'm not I, gonna count any. Uh, I thought you were about to say he's ugly. <laughs> no, Malik is not ugly. Malik, Malik was uh, my boyfriend of uh, like junior and sophomore year of high school. Mm -hmm. I don't count the other ones because they don't exist. And um, we dated for about a year and a half, mm -hmm. and uh, he was just like awesome. I miss him, but I don't like him like that anymore. Oh, wow. Do you have to talk? Yeah. Work. Um, my first gay relationship with, was with this boy named Cody um, in high school. He goes to Lamar, the ghetto school, and... Um, Not the ghetto. <laughs> it's really ghetto. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. But it was really toxic. I'm sorry. He was a really toxic person. Um, if you're watching this, you're toxic. <laughs> but he was just really toxic. And, like, it was just not the energy for me. Um, I wouldn't bring him home to my mom. Who? I, ooh, I would have brought um, Marcus. Uh -huh. How long were you with Marcus? Huh? How long were you with Marcus? Not long. It was like three, four, I think five months. Mm -hmm. um, Cause that's good. My cut off is about four months. But yeah, I mean, it was just, it was just, all my relationships were toxic. Yeah. I'm ready for another relationship, but like they really have to show me like something special because I'm not mm -mm, I don't want my time wasted yes it's valuable <laughs> how was your first time having sex honestly I didn't know what douching was you didn't no. you didn't douche I didn't know what it was you didn't know what it was no I was like mm, I, wanna, I, wanna, I know you put it in the bucket uh huh Switch your hands. But I was like, I, don't, I guess it's not dirty. It must not be dirty. <laughs> I've never seen it on porn. <laughs> I was like, it must be clean. I've never seen it on porn. I didn't shit on it. But I didn't do it. You did it. I didn't it's okay. Shit. I didn't, my first time, I was on a trip with this boy that I talked to. Mm -hmm. And I was a freshman in college. And... I didn't do shit either. Hey. <laughs> I, but I didn't shit on him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling um, the truth though. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm telling the truth too. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I thought it was great. My legs were shaking afterwards though. Yes! And I was literally in the car heading to band, uh, I think it was band, either band practice. You're done. Or it was um, either band practice 
or a band performance. Mm -hmm. And literally my legs were quaking. Like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, I can't walk what anymore. The <laughs> I was like, I can't walk anymore. Um, yeah, I was shit, but I went to bed and then like it had built up gas. Cause she was too damn. <laughs> I was like, ooh. Mm -hmm. But my first time it felt like I had to shit. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. That like it didn't feel normal to me. I was like, I feel like I just shit. I was just like a second to get comfortable. But really? I was, like, oh God, I was in like pain. Crazy. Like I was getting the chills. Look, I was like, okay. I was like, no, I don't trust you to put it in. I'm gonna get on top. Oh, I'm gonna do it that was you. Uh, I was like, I'm a pillow princess. <laughs> I'm like, mm -mm, you, I got it. Um, like, it on. hurts when they keep on like going in. Like, That's why I do it. <laughs> Like, when the dick is out and they try to put it back in, I'm like, ow. Yeah. Like, you need some lube. Yeah, you're right. You didn't get lube. You didn't have lube? I think booty was hurt. It was, I at least had lube. I was like, mm, it was I don't spits. have it. <laughs> it's giving me very much so word burn. Oh. <laughs> Alright, guys. Happy Pride Month. Yay. Go the gays. Um, I'm about to show y'all what I did to his nails. Oh. We're going to do like a zoom in. Okay, okay. Look. okay. And then um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye.